Good evening and welcome to our Bev Facey Open House. I'm Ken Malas, proud principal here at Bev Facey Community High School. It's an exciting night here at Facey. Our entire staff are looking forward to sharing with you all the amazing things that happen at our school. Our open house event will be divided into two separate sections tonight. Our first section will be an intro to our school featuring a roving reporter format, which will visit each of our program areas. While the second half of the night will feature live chat breakout rooms with the teachers at each session being able to answer specific questions about the programs in their area. If you have general questions anytime tonight during our initial presentation, please type them into the chat and one of our staff members will be happy to answer them. Thank you for getting us started, Mr. Willoss. We're excited to turn it over to Mrs. Williamson to get the show on the road. Mrs. Williamson, can you please tell us about where you are around the school? Sure, Mr. Salzen. I'm here in our drama room with our drama and musical theater teacher, Mr. Frank. Mr. Frank, what do students enjoy most about performing arts classes? I think what we're most proud of is just the family atmosphere that we create. Um, if you love performing, you'll definitely love our drama, musical theater and advanced acting program. Every class does a specific show to that class. Uh, we have a great family environment where the 30s, uh, aka grade 12s, mentor the grade 11s and the 10s. We all work together on, as a unified front to create a show. And uh, the grade 10s get to interact with grade 11s and 12s, which they normally don't get to do in other classes. And everyone is sort of like one. Uh, every grade 10 I've talked to this year has had a great experience so far. And like I said, if you love drama uh, in junior high or you've never tried it and you want to try it, this is the absolute place you want to be. Thanks, Mr. Frank. Awesome. Now we're going to take it back to Mr. Willoss. Can you keep telling us about our school? Sure, absolutely. Bev Facey is known for its diversity of programming and excellence in results. Our school mission is to provide a supportive environment and a comprehensive education, developing adaptable, responsible learners capable of meeting the opportunities of an ever-changing world. For the 2022-23 school year, we will continue to work towards three comprehensive goals outlined on your screen. Through our first goal, we're always seeking to involve our families with our school through volunteer opportunities, our amazing school council, and we're open to involving our parent community and supporting our students by sharing their expertise and experiences in our classrooms. With our second goal, we're always trying to encourage our students to push their academic limits and engage in a persistent pursuit of their academic objectives as well. With our third goal, we really want our students to represent the values that we know are going to make them successful. The ones that are going to provide them the keys to their life goals, objectives, and will provide them a solid framework for them to reach their dreams, whatever they may be. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Ross. Back to Mrs. Williamson. Can you continue telling us about where you are in our school and what's going on? Sure, Mr. Salzen. I am here in our social studies area with Mrs. Holt, one of our social studies teachers. You can see there's a number of students here with her. What are these students doing, Mrs. Holt? Well, we're doing Reach for the Top. It's a trivia game that used to be hosted by the late Alex Trebek. And our students are getting ready for a compete meet tonight. And we're getting ready for provincials. Yay! That's great. Best of luck, you guys. Awesome. Now we're going to send it over to Mrs. Crop and see what's adding up with her. Hi, Mr. Salazan. I'm with our math department. Does math puzzle you? Our fantastic teachers will help you put the pieces together. And here I have some students. Can you tell me what you're working on? Um, we are just factoring some equations. Like with this one, I just went through and I did the whole factoring process to arrive at my conclusion of 4x plus 5 and 2x plus 3 being the factors. And over here, I used one of the lucky methods that we learn in class to factor in this equation. And um, this is something we often do in class where we write on 
whiteboards or write on the windows and we do practice questions and we engage with the class pop in the class. Thank you so much for sharing. Looks like some great learning is happening there. Mr. Willos, can you continue to tell us about Bev Facey and our advanced placement program? For sure. Advanced placement courses challenge highly motivated students by exposing them to post-secondary course content and encourage the development of skills needed for academic excellence beyond high school. We offer AP in several subject areas as listed on the slide. If you're looking for information about all the benefits of taking advanced placement courses, please visit Mrs. Williamson's breakout session or visit our school website to learn more. Awesome. Mrs. Williamson, we're going to go to you and it looks like you're in some place where I can have a good read. Can you tell me what's going on? Yes, Mr. Salzen, I am here in our amazing learning commons with some members of our English department. Please make sure to go and visit their breakout session for more information about English 10-1, English 10-2, the AP strands of English, and also our STEM English program. Thank you so much. Mrs. Kropp, we're going to turn it over to you, and I don't know if something's burning in that area, but tell me what's going on. Want to dissect something, blow something up, or analyze a crash? Then sciences are for you. Join their individual sessions to learn all about the different streams in science. Thank you so much for that information. Mr. Wallace, we're going to turn it back to you and tell a little bit more about what we believe here at Beth Facey. For sure. The Facey Way is an active and evolving initiative encompassing values such as commitment, dedication, enthusiasm, loyalty, and respect. Students and staff and parents involved with the Bev Facey School community accept responsibility of maintaining and representing a positive school image by exemplifying each of these values. In the end, high school is all about belonging and finding your way. That's also the Facey way, bringing your strengths and your passions to our community, finding your way to belong and leveraging your abilities to make us all stronger. Thank you so much. Mrs. Williamson, what's going on in your area? I'm now here in our computer area with our teacher, Mrs. Langwa. In this area, we have computer works, computing science, and robotics. Mrs. Langwa, can you tell us what the difference is between computer works and computing science? So computer works is a lot of hardware and IT work. So taking apart computers, taking apart and fixing cell phones and laptops, printers, any of that hands-on hardware-based IT skills. Computing science is developing software. Often that involves building games, building apps, and building websites. That's very interesting. Can you also tell us what is something that would surprise people about our robotics program? Uh, our robotics program has a competitive robotics team that actually doesn't necessarily overlap our class. So you could do one or the other or both. And in our robotics class, we have a whole variety of different types of robots that students have the opportunity to work with. Great, thanks so much. Thank you. And Mrs. Kropp, I don't know where you are, but can you paint me a picture about it? Hi, Mr. Salazan. I am here with our in-house artist resident, our, our resident artist, Mr. Milne. I'm just going to show you all the great pieces of student work. Mr. Milne, why would a student want to take art or photography? Well, why not? This is where creativity happens. I mean, this is such a creative hub. Um, so, you know, if you are that creative type, you want to be here, whether that's you like creating with a pencil, a paintbrush, marker, inks, clay, and, and a variety of different mediums, you want to be here. I pride myself and the program at Bev Facey at introducing students to a variety of different mediums and styles. As you can see, uh, some traditional, some not so traditional. Uh, you know, like this one right here where we've got, you know, a student has created this uh, piece with nails or this one over here. This is a piece created from wax. 
Amazing, amazing stuff. And so again, I push all sorts of different styles and mediums uh, as well. This is a class for beginners or students that have taken art at the seven, eight, nine level. It doesn't matter if you've got, like I said, if you've got that passion for creativity, you want to be here. Another cool thing about the program, and I know I'm boasting a bit here, but I'm a practicing artist myself, as you heard, the friendly neighborhood artist. Um, I'm able to give students a little bit more of uh, that, that look as to what life is like as an artist past high school. I pride myself on getting students ready for that next level, whether that is going uh, to the practicing artist or whether that's the Bachelor of Fine Arts, whatever that might be. And of course, I haven't even talked to you yet about the photography side of things. So exciting. Um, this is also an art and photography space. My bathroom, which we won't go back there, but that's my studio space where I set up all sorts of different things like studio backdrops, the lights, because just like the art side of things, I really like to push my students' creativity, where we work from working with the smartphone at the 10 level, and we then get into working with the DSLR. And I have to say, the cool thing is, Casey's got some of the nicest, newest equipment, all right? Promise you that, okay? Um, as you can see behind me, we push all sorts of different aspects of photography, whether that is, you know what, some of the Photoshop wizardry, as I like to call it, painting with light, working with aperture, and any sort of combination of, of different things. And, and you know what, I'm boasting a little bit here when I point this out to you, all right? Last year, Bev Facey Photography Program had the Provincial Skills Competition Gold Medalist, all right? So I know I'm boasting a little bit, but you know what, I take what I do in this class seriously. So Mrs. Crop, hopefully I answered that question as to why you want to be here. Thanks Mr. Milne for sharing. Thank you for all that lovely information. Mrs. Williamson, we're going to go over to you. Maybe for the world traveler, there's a class here that can help them with that. You are definitely right, Mr. Salzen. I am here in our Spanish classroom with our teacher, Mrs. Chalmers. Mrs. Chalmers, what are the top three reasons for students to take a second language? Okay, well, top three, there is probably over a hundred different reasons to take a language, uh, take a second language, any second language, French or Spanish here at Facey. I would say the number one reason kids love this class is because we just have a whole heck of a lot of fun. Uh, learning and practicing a language is lots of interaction, uh, lots of um, movement, lots of games. Uh, we just have a whole lot of fun and, and lots of laughs, uh, lots of times laughing at each other, silly mistakes we make. Uh, it's a really good atmosphere uh, for learning and so kids have fun. The second reason I would say is that, uh, well, it just enriches your, your worldview. Any culture, any language, uh, you're learning a different perspectives in the world and uh, just gives you more profound understanding of, of where you are. And uh, I love that part of it. Uh, also, tr it just enriches your travel experience uh, so much. So third reason and why a lot of students end up uh, really like putting in, you know, three, three years of language learning is at the end they're rewarded with this uh, um, university entrance course, which is, which wasn't, it's not physics 30, right? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's less pressure probably than a core. Uh, students do work, but you know, like I said, we have a lot of fun at it. There's no high stakes diploma exam. And so kids really usually appreciate the work they put into it and being able to take that mark with them, uh, put it on their transcript uh, and use it for their uh, entrance applications. So that's only three. Uh, I could probably go on and on, but uh, it's hard to follow Mr. Milne. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Chalmers. I'm sure people will pop into your breakout session to find out more of those reasons. Thanks so much. Mr. Olas, we're going to turn it over to you again and tell us some of the ways in which people can get involved at Bev Facey. One of the big ways is through athletics. At Facey, we offer a wide variety of athletic opportunities for students to access. The goal of our athletic program is to help each student athlete achieve their academic, athletic, and personal potential during their time at Bev Facey. 
There are numerous challenges in being a student athlete, and we think that participating in sports really helps to prepare young athletes to become future leaders. Learning how to respond to the challenges they will face helps develop the character and the self-confidence that will ultimately define their success. Following their playing days with Bev Facey, we know these students will look back with a fondness on the friendships they developed and the hard work and sacrifice it took to be part of this program. As a potential Bev Facey student athlete, we want to make you aware of what we do here at Bev Facey and how we can best serve your interests and aspirations as they pertain to your particular school sport. Please attend our athletics breakout sessions to get more specific information on the interscholastic sports and activities our Falcons take part in. Thank you, Mr. Ralas. Mrs. Croft, we're gonna turn it over to you maybe for some of those kids looking to turn over a new leaf here at Bed Facey and try something new. Hi, I'm here with Ms. Schaefer to learn about our horticulture problem. We would have loved to have shown you our amazing greenhouse, but without any sunlight, it's pretty dark up there. Instead, we have some photos for you to look at while Ms. Schaefer tells us about her program. Ms. Schaefer, why might a student want to take horticulture? Well, I can say that the greenhouse is the best room in the school for sure. And here's why. When we're working up there in the spring and the sun's shining in and you can smell the plants and the wet soil, it's just an amazing place to be. Our students all have tough academic schedules and this is really something different for them. It's a de-stressor, it's a break in their day, gives them the opportunity to try something hands-on that's just a little bit less stressful. So what are we gonna do in horticulture? Well, any student who enjoys working with plants, I think will really enjoy this course. When the semester starts in the end of January and the beginning of February, it's pretty cold outside, a little early to start seeding our, our spring bedding plants. So we're gonna begin with some floral design and you can see some of the floral material that we're gonna use here beside me. So first the students are gonna learn how to condition it. When we get it from the wholesaler, what do we have to do with it to make sure that it lasts as long as possible in our arrangements? Once they've done that, then they're gonna start actually designing with it. So the grade 10s might start with something simple like a bud vase design where the grade 11s and the grade 12s will have moved on to much more elaborate designs using floral foam. We'll spend a couple of weeks at that and then we're gonna start getting ready for our uh, spring bedding plants. And so what the students are gonna be responsible for is they're gonna look after everything from seeding, fertilizing, pest management, uh, transplanting, everything we have to do to get those plants ready for the, the spring plant sale and to put out in our own flower beds and, and garden boxes and around the schoolyard. And so we're going to grow some ornamentals, things like annual flowers, ornamental grasses. Think of anything you might see in the pots you put on your deck at home or on your, on your front doorstep. Those are our ornamentals. We're also going to grow a bunch of vegetables and a bunch of herbs, our edibles. Uh, the things that we really like to make uh, to make our dinner taste just a little bit better. Uh, once we've done, once, well, while we're working on that, really, we're also going to be doing a little bit of work with our hydroponics upstairs. We want to grow some tomatoes, some peppers, some cucumbers using our hydroponic equipment upstairs. And we'll just do that for our own use here at school. That's a part of the program that I'd really like to grow in the future. And so this year, we're just going to be trying to get a little more experience and see where we might be able to go with that. Uh, in addition to that, once we've done, once we're kind of done with the plant sale in the spring and we're going to keep a bunch of the plants back for our own use, then we're going to do, we're going to be doing some flower pot design. We're going to plant all the flower beds in the front of the school. We're going to do some seating in our own garden space and that'll kind of take us through till the end of the year. While all of that is going on, we're also gonna be doing some theory in the classroom. And so that theory is gonna be things like plant science, soil science, design theory, all the things that we need to support our learning with all of the plants that we're working with. Other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to come to the Hort breakout session and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks, Ms. Schaefer. You're welcome. That's good information to have because I can't seem to keep a plant alive, so I might have to join that session and learn a little bit myself. So over to Mrs. Williamson now to tell us a little bit more about another area of our school that I know is in high demand. So Mrs. Williamson, take it away. 
Sure, Mr. Salzen. I am here in our cosmetology area with our teacher, Mrs. Gillowich. Mrs. Gillowich, what makes cosmetology special about Facey? Cosmetology is a five credit class that you can take in high school at Beth Facey and it's an option course so it's a nice break around your other subjects. It's a relaxed atmosphere and it's a great place to learn new skills and new people. So we have some students working in our salon area for you just to kind of um, give you an overview of what we do here. We do hair and curl hair, learn how to shampoo hair, style hair, straighten hair. We also do manicuring, we do nails, um, hair. So we have some students demonstrating the skills that they've learned here. Um, these students here are performing a hair color. So we've got all kinds of things going on here. So it's a very busy place and it's a lot of fun to take our course. There are a lot of students in here and they definitely look like they're working hard and having a good time all at once. Awesome. Thanks so much. We're going to turn it over to Miss Crop to tell us what's being built here at the school too. So Miss Crop, take that away. I'm here with Mr. Woodard visiting the largest construction shop in Alberta. Mr. Woodard, what are you working on? Uh, I'm just cutting some dovetails, practicing up, get ready to train the kids for skills competition this year. What is skills competition? Can you? Uh, that face is a huge school in the skills competition, so it's citywide, provincial-wide, nationwide. Uh, all the train areas, technical areas have competition, and our kids win a lot. Mr. Wooded, who should take construction? Uh, anyone who feels they're a maker. If you like to make things, if you like to do things for yourself, this would be the class for you. Thanks for thanks, Mr. Woodard. Awesome. It looks like there's some interesting tools there that I can't wait to learn how to use. We are going to head over to Mrs. Williamson right away here because she's going to be telling us a little bit more about another area where, you know, you can get your sweat on. And I know they're sweating as they're running around the school to show you all this information. So here, Mrs. Williamson, take it away. Sure, Mr. Selzen, I am here in our gymnasium with our phys ed teachers, Mr. Stevens and Mr. Goff. Mr. Goff, what makes high school phys ed different than what students are used to in junior high? Uh, I would say the diversity of our program is the most important thing to, for uh, incoming grade nines to think about. We have just under 50 different activities is that and uh, about 35 to 40 days of the semester we're actually out in the community doing other things other than just being in the school and in the gym so things like going to millennium place doing indoor soccer and swimming going to glen allen rec center for squash racquetball and volleyball some broom ball we go bowling we uh our 30s and 20s do the uh driving range with some golfing some scuba diving uh, the velodrome for some cycling, wall climbing, just to say, just that, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. So it, there's a variety of things that they do, and it's not just all about playing volleyball for two weeks or something like that. We do, we have a multitude of different activities, and the kids love to be here. That sounds awesome. Mr. Stevens, what do students enjoy most about taking PE? I think the change is just that every day it's nice having uh, a little bit longer for class so you're not uh, getting ready warming up and then being done so we can really get into gameplay um big part of this that is the gameplay and having fun um so it usually is a big uh big step up or a change from uh, junior high for then perfect uh, make sure that you check out the football session that mr stevens will be hosting starting at 7 30. Yep. And Mr. Goff will be available for more questions about PE in the PE breakout session. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. We're going to turn it over to Mr. Wallace. Can you tell us a little bit more just about the physical activity and wellness courses that we have here at Bev Facey? Absolutely. So these courses offer exciting possibilities around the science of wellness and are intended to provide learning opportunities for students with a passion for athletics, health, and sports. They offer students the ability to improve not only physical performance, but challenge themselves physically 
and potentially pursue learning that may lead to careers in the various athletic fields. Please visit our breakout session to learn more about these courses. Awesome, thanks for sharing that information. Ms. Kropp, we're going to turn it over to you and tell us what's being designed here. Tell us about that program. Hi, Mr. Salazan. I'm in the digital design classroom. Hi, Mr. Sutherland. What Hello. do students take away from their time in digital media? Well, students in digital media will get to learn about the immense amount of technology that goes on in today's graphic designing and the amount of ways you can apply it across many different disciplines and jobs across the world and especially uh, working through the internet with a bunch of amazing people collaborating working with clients the other thing we do is we also do videography in digital media and we learn about how to make uh, videos create content research and a bunch of other cool stuff with state-of-the-art equipment thank you mr sutherland I might have to take that class and learn how to be a new YouTube sensation. That's my next goal in life. Now we're going to turn it over to Mrs. Williamson, which I'm excited about. This is going halfway through now, and it's time to get a snack, I think. So Mrs. Williamson, tell us what's going on. Sure, Mr. Salzen. I am here in our commercial kitchen with our culinary foods teacher, Ms. Steele Watts. Ms. Steele Watts, can you tell us what's unique about culinary foods at Bev Facey? Uh, here at Bed Facey, we work as a team in an industrial style kitchen to make baked goods and meals for staff, students, and the community. Awesome. And Miss Steel Watts is so talented. She not only teaches culinary foods, but also baking. So, this is our baking area. What do students love about taking baking? It's a great way to hone your baking skills. We've got a lot of students who love to bake only and don't really want to look at the aspect of the commercial kitchen and cooking. So we hone our skills and make lots and lots of sweet and savory baked goods. I know it's one of my favorites. Awesome, that's some great information. This next area makes me feel a little bit hot under the collar because it's warming up here. So Mrs. Croft, tell us about where you are. Hi, Mr. Salazan. I'm in our fabrication shop with Mr. Suffren. Sparks are flying and Mr. Suffren is demonstrating what you could do if you take fabrication. Plasma cutting, metal manipulation, arc, TIG, and MIG welding. The creative and industrial possibilities are endless. That's awesome. Can't wait to hopefully see some kids in fab. Mr. Rolos, can you tell us about the off-campus education opportunities at Bethphasey? What does that mean and what is it all about? For sure. In off-campus education at Facey, students gain practical workplace experience related to life skills and career opportunities in off-school education learning environments. Off-campus education provide excellent opportunities for a number of things. One, community partnerships, job shadowing, mentorships, and work study. All of these initiatives are designed to support the achievement of the outcomes in the provincial programs of study. And each of them result in the issuing of senior high school credits for workplace learning that is approved by our school and by the employer that the student is working with. Our work experience coordinator, Christian Election, will be able to announce answer any questions that you may have in her breakout session later on tonight. Thank you very much. We're going to send it over to Mrs. Williamson in another area that I know I enjoy visiting because it means more snacks for me. So Mrs. Williamson, take it away. You are right, Mr. Salvin. I am now in our personal foods classroom with our teacher, Mrs. Van de Wettering. Mrs. Van de Wettering, what is the best part of taking foods? The best part of taking foods is getting to learn to cook new things, make new friends in a home-like kitchen setting. Then you sit down, enjoy the things that you've made that day with your kitchen team. Um, you to create lots of projects, expand on your creativity, a low pressure environment. What do you guys think? Any thoughts? Miss V is the best. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that from the students, but Miss V is the best was the response we got from the students in the room. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Mrs. Crop, I see that you're, I, it's, I'm, I'm intrigued by what I'm seeing next. Can you tell us where you are and what's going on? Hi, Mr. Salzen. I'm in our mechanics lab, and I'm not sure what's going on. Mr. Milton, what is going on in here? Uh, we have a little bit of a display of what our mechanics shop is here. We have a number of vehicles in the shop, uh, a bunch of different stuff that we end up doing work on. The importance of the course is that uh, everybody ends up owning a vehicle at some point, and we learn how to do from basic maintenance up to full servicing of the vehicle. Uh, we have multiple stalls, multiple vehicles in the shop uh, with programs ranging from 10 to 30 level. Uh, we're going to be offering uh, multiple courses where each student has a chance to be able to take mechanics six times through their uh, high school career. And each time that they come will be a different course that they take on different things that we learn about the vehicles. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're welcome. Thank you. Mrs. Williamson, we're going to turn it over to you. I see Mr. Ward ready to share some interesting information and someone went on a massive diet in the background there that he's got no skin. What's going on? As you can see. I am here in our sports medicine room with our teacher, Mr. Ward. Mr. Ward, what skills do students learn in sports medicine? Well, first and foremost, we talk everything about sports medicine. So from taping, strapping, uh, getting uh, 20 levels onwards certified in first aid and CPR and more. We learn everything about the human body and how we can optimize performance and return to play for athletes who are already injured. Wow, that sounds great. Thank you so much. Awesome. Mr. Wallace, we're going to turn it back over to you and I'm hoping that you can share just a little bit more about our CTS courses here at Bev Facey. For sure. At Bev Facey, we offer a wide variety of courses in, in addition to our core subject areas. Our career and technology studies slash CTS courses offer amazing alternatives to conventional classroom learning, and they're all taught by Red Seal Journey persons. Courses emphasize learning through doing, and they are activity centered. Introductory courses are exploratory, exploratory in nature to accommodate a variety of interests, Courses at the intermediate and advanced levels become even more focused and develop skills suitable to more advanced studies. Each CTS course strand has a value of one high school credit. CTS courses in grade 10 are offered during one block of time and students typically get five or six credits, depending on the number of course strands they complete. Some intermediate and advanced CTS courses are offered for an entire morning or afternoon. In this case, students are able to earn up to 10 or 11 credits. Every year, our students represent Bev Facey by participating in Skills Canada Alberta competitions. We are extremely proud of our students who regularly place extremely well in not only regional, but provincial and national competitions and they display a high degree of skill. Thank you, Mr. Roloff, talking about our CTS courses, but I'm gonna leave it with you. Can you also tell us about our fine arts opportunities? Absolutely. The arts play a vital role here at Beth Facey. Our students get to explore many different facets of the performing and visual arts through the variety of courses we offer. No one is better able to speak to all the options we offer than the teachers who teach in these areas please make sure to visit their individual breakout sessions to learn more about the courses that might interest you. Thank you for that information. Mrs. Croft, we're gonna go over to you. I know there's lots of supports that we offer students here at Beth Facey. Can you tell us about those and just the area that you're in? Hi, Mr. Selzen. Yes, that's right. I'm in Student Services. Welcome to Student Services, the heart of the Facey. I'm Ms. Ramsey, and this is the fabulous Mrs. Patrick. Nice to meet you guys. We're really excited to see you next year. A few things that you might come here to do are some support with anxiety management, some study skills stuff. Uh, if you have an ISP or need accommodations, we would be the place to kind of help you out there. If you have some personal concerns um, that are related to school, we'd love to hear those too. Uh, we can help you connect with outside agencies and a little bit of stress management. And some other things that we do is we're going to help you develop your timetable for next year. So we'll come out to your schools and you'll pick courses and we'll give you some information. 
And then as you continue on your high school career, you may get interested in post-secondary institutions. What's the difference between the University of Alberta and Nate? What does Grant McEwen have to offer? We will share all that information. We have speakers that come in. We will help you find scholarships and grants and make sure that your transition out of high school is as easy as it is coming into high school. We can't wait to meet you next year, grade 10s. Bye. Thank you. Another great space in student services is our cultural room. And to speak about our culture room, I have Miss Shepherd. I'm saying welcome to the culture room. Come on in. My name is Candida Shepherd, and I'm a First Nations Métis Inuit lead teacher here at Fab Lacey. And the first thing I'd like to do is acknowledge that we are all treaty people here on Treaty 6 territory. And um, the importance of this room is to acknowledge that not only among our students, but for our own people and the history that has come with that for better or worse. And so part of being in this room is to bring together that knowledge and to bring together uh, the students. And um, as our elders say, it will take seven generations to heal. And the students in this school are a part of that healing. And so it's a privilege to be in here to provide this space for our students so that they have a community where they feel safe and where they can explore such a beautiful and diverse culture. Uh, currently, we have 57 kids in the program, and so we would love to have more, and you are very welcome to be a part of this. So come come and see what happens down here. Hi, hi. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Shepard. Yep. Thank you so much. Mrs. Williamson, I feel like you're getting the workout tonight running around the school, so tell us about the area you're in. I have been getting a workout, Mr. Salzen. Definitely, I am in the right place now. I am in our incredible fitness center with Mr. Taylor, our personal fitness teacher. Mr. Taylor, what are all the areas that are encompassed by personal fitness? Yeah, this program is for people that really like to work out or like to be active or want to learn anything about it. We cover things like sports nutrition, a little bit of sports psychology. We do training foundations. Basically, we try to teach you so that when you leave this program, you know how to make your own programs, run your own program safety, and safety is always our number one. So if you like to work out, if you like to be active, this is definitely the best for you. And yeah, we look forward to seeing you next year. Great, thank you so much. Awesome, I look forward to that breakout session. Uh, Mr. Willis, I know we talked about athletics, but there's other ways to get involved at Bed Facey as well. Can you tell me about those? One of the best ways for students to become involved in their school community or develop relationships here at Bev Facey is to join one of our many clubs. We have a wide variety of clubs, as you can see. But if the students have ideas for additional clubs, all they need to do is find a staff member, member who might want to support their initiative. There will be a breakout session available to provide information about all current Bev Facey clubs. Please check it out to see if there's something we offer that you feel you can connect to. Thank you for telling us about our clubs. Now over to Mrs. Crop. I feel like there's some noise coming from down the hallway. What's going on? <laughs> I'm here again with the talented Mr. Sutherland. Mr. Sutherland, what happens in creative music? That's right, it's me again. Uh, in creative music, we get to try all kinds of music and student-based music, that is. We get to perform together and through that we learn new techniques for music theory, all kinds of music. We play shows together for the public and out in the school and we run pep rallies as well as get to learn how to write your own songs and just overall know how to become a professional musician. Thanks again, Mr. Sutherland. That's awesome. I wish I could do a riff like that. No, I definitely cannot. But Mr. Willis, I know we've tried to preview our school as well as possible tonight, but can you tell us for those that are interested in coming here, how would they go about doing that? Absolutely. The returning student registration process is open from February 1st to February 28th. All current EIPS families will complete the returning student registration form through their PowerSchool parent portal account. Students who are not currently registered with EIPS will complete a new student registration form, which can be found on the EIPS website. Bev Facey is an open boundary school and we will be accepting new student registrations all the way through the month of February. 
after March 7th, we will be contacting students who have registered here to welcome them to Bev Facey. We are in the planning stages right now of arranging actual physical tours for all our registered students to visit our CTS and fine arts classrooms after March 7th to help them make up some of their minds about what they want to take and to be able to complete their course selections. I also want to point out that it's important for all our prospective Falcons and their parents to look through our Bev Facey program guide for 2022-2023 that's available on our website. As this is a vital planning document that is a wealth of information that can help them with their choices for next year. Awesome. Also, that's, good inf that's good information to have, but I know that while we promote our school here tonight, there's also other ways for them to stay in the loop about what's happening. What are some of those other ways? For sure. To stay up to date with everything that's happening at Bev Facey, please make sure that you follow us on social media, whether that be through our own website, our Facebook account, our Twitter, or our Instagram account. We're constantly putting up things that are happening at Facey to give you that look and see what's going on and what life at Facey is actually all about. So basically to wrap things up tonight, I'd like to let you know that we have teachers that are all eagerly waiting to speak with you and answer your questions in our breakout sessions. The links to the individual sessions can be found on the home page of the Bev Facey website. That concludes our general information session. I want to thank you for taking the time to visit our open house. Please, once again, make sure to visit all the individual breakout sessions to get more specific information about all the opportunities that we have to offer. Have a great evening, and I look forward to hopefully seeing you all next year.